I don't like buying classes, especially the structure analysis, which we are going to start next class. Huh? I am going to share a lot of materials. After our class tomorrow, I'm going to share the course outlines and the time, schedule, plan, what we are going to have, and everything. Yes. So let us come back to our a, our discussion. We already said that, did you know we study civil engineering for how many years? Five years. You, you need 30 hours. You need 30 hours to study civil engineering. <laughs> are, you, are this is possible? No, of course not. Of course not. But we have method. We are going to have method. Okay. You by now, what why you are here? Because you have objectives. What you are doing, doing, uh, doing now, you are executing your plan of studying. Planning to achieve what? To achieve your certificate. To get your certificate done from first attempt. You are here. How you are going to monitor and control your objective? How? <laughs> you just came. I know you just came. How you are? I will tell you how. Through the classes, we will know what we are going to do and how we are going to achieve your, a, your exam. You know by your own, and you are going to define the method. Which method I am going to follow? Because we have three methods. Later on, I will, I will tell you about everything. I will give you injection. <laughs> you will go to the exam directly. Second day, take the injection. Can I show? <laughs> It, you will see. No, you know, the problem is what? The problem is what? Because we are not familiar about this type of exams and all the reputation, tough exam, tough exam, tough exam, but it's not tough. Once you finish the class, classes, inshallah, you will find it very easy and we are going to enjoy it, by the way. We will enjoy everything, inshallah. We are going to have six hours structure analysis. Two days, Tuesday, Thursday, coming. Tuesday, Thursday, we will finish structure analysis. Next Sunday, we'll start construction management. Tuesday, we'll finish construction management. And next week, we'll finish soil mechanics, Thursday. Come, come. What is this not louder? Louder is saying. One student is saying. Saying what? It's not able to hear. Not able to hear? Really? Here is on. Ask them to come to the classroom. Online classes. I am using my phone. I am using in my phone only in computer. I cannot hear yet. Tab, you can hear me now or not? Can you hear me now or not? <laughs> he will hear me for sure. <laughs> check here. Check. Check. What did we say? Ah, we will finish next week. We'll finish next week 50% from our A classes, hours, time. Okay, let us come back again. Let us come back again. Why, what, and how? Did you know familiar about why you are here? What you are going to do? And how you are going to do this is you are going to have it through the classroom. Through the 30 hours, you are going to have everything. Okay, still we have what? Still we have some, eh, some questions and answers. Let us know about it. And let us see the type of what? Type of our eh, exam questions through the discussion today. Next class, today is introduction. Next class, it will be three hours. Three hours, three hours. From seven o'clock to 10 o'clock. Straight structure analysis will be eh, bring hard copy i will share with you exercise branded hard copy printed hard copy and bring it to you to the classroom so we'll solve sharing a sharing force diagram moment diagram uh, as a statically determined beams moment shear we will learn we learn which we need it in our exam next class it will be structure analysis and i will share tomorrow what about even the slides today, whatever I have it today, 
and today a PDF, inshallah PDF uh, format, and as well I will give you the course outline time and what. Time and what, what we are going to have every class. Okay, and exercise for structure analysis, hard copy please to bring it next class. Print it hard copy and they bring it to next class. Okay, let us see now. Still we have what? Still there are five number questions need to get familiar about it. This is myself, Yasser Metib. I am BMB certified. I am civil engineer 1987. BMB certified 2017, whatever, by all, you can have all of them. And I am grade A, UBDA 2014. Okay. I went to the same exam, to the same exam, to the same feeling. What? In 2014, our boss tell me, you have to go to your, you have to go for, we need to classify the company and do you need your grade A? We need. And classification, company classification, we need some engineer to be grade A. You know that. Contracting companies, you need to classify it as well. Grade B, grade C, grade A. They need some guys working in the company to be grade A. So we need to classify the company and you are having experience enough. Grade A. Yummy. What type of exam I'm going to have? I don't know anything about anything. And I put myself in the, everyone shows in the feeling now. But I did it without what? Without minimum effort. I did it with minimum effort. Before there is no Green International. There is no such courses, nothing. 2014, it was the, the first year they are applied to be online. 2014, they are announced if all the engineers, seven engineers should be applied for to register in MME. Anyone will not will not apply and register from 2014. Any certificate, any experience years after that is not accounted. Yani if you are working, مثلاً, for example, from 2013 until now, and you are deserve grade A, but unfortunately, no. Why? Because you are failed to register 2014. So you will get trainee. If even you have 11 years experience. You understand what I mean, guys? So that's why, ah, that's why our BRO told our boss, all we need all the civil engineers and the mechanical engineer, our company to be registered. So then we can classify our company. So I went to the exam. So I feel whatever you feel now, but I will make your life very easy. Okay? Die. Let us see by now. Let us go for our January and let us see what UBDA January Green answer me these questions, please. What is UBDA stand for? <laughs> Urban planning and the authority approval and the authority and the development authority, the development authority. Let us see what is UBDA for? I will tell you. What why is there is UBDA? وبعدين, what is your competency? وبعدين, what is the strategy to be UBDA certified? Let us go one by one. One by one. The first one. What is UBDA stand for? Stand for urban planning and developing authority. Correct? MME, they are going to examine you. MME. MME, the municipality. They are going to, and the MME is what? Responsible for what? For developing what? Developing Qatar. Correct or not? They are the one issue what? Design control, design DC1 approval, DC2 approval, building permits, controlling the, 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 the constructions project in Qatar through the code. Their code. Qatar have codes. What else have what? Have what? Qatar have vision or not? Are Qatar have vision or not? Vision. 100% if you are developing a country, a country, you are developing a country without vision, you just play. But we have here in Qatar vision, correct or not? Vision without plan, well, the vision with plan, 
with plan there is a vision should be a plan صح ولا لا we are as a civil engineer in the vision ولا in the plan I am asking you we are in the vision we are ولا we are in the plan ايه معلم we are where where we are <laughs> Urban planning is, is, is dynamic, regional planning and dynamic. As why what? Because we have a vision without a plan is just a dream. We discussed now. Qatar have vision, Qatar have vision, and what? 2030. Qatar have 2030, yes. Qatar have vision 2030, actually. Without vision, you cannot develop your country. You are going to, hey, kida, randomly, kida, hey, hamagoni. Yalla, anything, yalla. Anything and all the people hey, do whatever they like, but no, everybody is doing his life. It's just a myth. Miss, you know, we are in the vision or in the plan. <laughs> we are in the vision or in the plan. In the plan, we are in the plan. We are in the plan. Who doing the job here? Who's doing the job here? Engineers. Through what? Worker. Worker without missive statement, they will not achieve anything, correct or not? Who's doing the missive statement? Who's doing the message? Who's doing the design? Engineers. Who will execute the design to make it tangible? Engineers. Sahwala, engineers. You, as in, we are in the plan. We are in the plan. We need to make sure that all the engineers that are working in Qatar, they are qualified. As a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, chemical engineer, correct or not? صح? We are in the plan, quality assurance plan, actually. National quality assurance plan. We need to make sure that we are civil engineers. Through what? A 27 questions and problem in one hour, two minutes and 13 seconds. Multiple questions, option, and four options. Two options, they are near to your subject and the two options far away from the subject of the question. So easy for you. You can pick it up in two minutes, 13 seconds. Correct? Uh, uh, very easy. Very easy. But what? <laughs> you will see. You will see. Very easy. You will see. Time. Okay. Let us go through the slides and we'll see, inshallah, everything will be easy for us. Time. What is UBDA for? UBDA, as we discussed from a while ago, is to determine if you, he or she, have the competency to work in Qatar as an engineer. Sah? We discussed from a while ago. Please choose the correct answer below. We have four, op four options or five options. See, engineering knowledge and education, experience, soft skills, ethics, and all above. You choose the correct answer. Use your engineering sense. It's not common sense. I will not say common sense. Engineering sense. What's your opinion? <laughs> What's your opinion? Should be what? Yeah, perfect. Eh? Should be what? Engineering. Are you sure? Yes. Tab should be what? All above. Ah, perfect. Choose what? All is above. All is above. See? A or E. Yani, la ima e, la ima e, correct? Sa? Yes. Tai, here. All above. Here. All is above. Here. All above. Tai, okay. It's the wrong answer. <laughs> All above is the wrong answer. Why, guys? Wrong answer. Well, you are going to have two years experience. Masala, for sure, you are not two years. Maybe ten years or seven years. Ten years. Eight. Nine. <laughs> seven. Yes. Seven. Assume you are seven. You are, yeah? One year? Two years? Two years. Two years. Assume you are fresh. You are fresh, two years, ten years. Assume. All of you, all of you, 
in the same row of the disk A in the exam hall. You have desktop, you have desktop, and you have desktop. Okay, system. Questions number one, questions number 10, the same. You buy one, 10, 15. What is the experience now? The 27 number questions could be what? You have 10 different types now and uh, on order. You have the same 10 in another order. You have same 10 in another order. So what's, what does it mean experience now? What's the experience now? There is no experience now because does it matter now? Why? Because you have the same what? The same type of questions. So 10 years, two years, still fresh, nothing to do with experience. Why? Because according to your attested certificate, you have to attest it, so then you'll be grade A or grade B or trainee. As I told you, if you fail to attest your certificate, then what? You are going to be trainee. Nothing to do with what? With your experience. What about soft skills? Soft skills, guys. Soft skills is personal. Something inside you, you have good communication skills, planning skills, scheduling skills, uh, to deal with communication with people skills. Yes, this, this type of soft skills means what? You cannot take soft skills. Soft skills in this such exam, uh, we need to what? We need to enhance our engineering sense from now, from now. Through the 30 hours, let us enhance what? Our engineering sense. No one in this classroom will study as we study before. No one. Because we stuck here. We forgot what? <laughs> we forgot our day, studying days. Correct or not? If you are working in the, if you are working in contracting company right now, two hours in the sun is a, is much enough to to melt your brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no more, no more civil engineering. So what means engineering knowledge and education? In what? In a principle, fundamentals, easy way. It's not that much complicated. Okay? Don't worry. It's very simple. The answer is what? The answer is A. And what? Use your logic and your engineering sense. Our exam is based on how, my, how much you are going to improve and enhance your engineering sense skills. Through what? Exercise. For sure, 100%. I told you, I am going to ask you to print hard copy to bring it what? To bring it next class. We are going to study, but we cannot study the same as we what? The same as we are studying before. And even our structure analysis, the six hours cannot cover what? Will not cover all the structure analysis. Structure analysis, we need two years. <laughs> Correct? But we are taking it in six hours. Construction management as well. We are going to have it in six hours. No one can give you these classes, this part of, this part of, or this type of knowledge in 12 hours. Okay? And why we are going to start, why we are going to start with structure analysis? Because we have in our exam three to five number questions coming in from structure analysis. And why after structure analysis, construction management? Because you have nine to 11 coming construction management in your exam. See, I'm giving you the heavyweight areas, which you A, but on your book, it can let us have four structure analysis. Then let us have 10 structure. Class bass finish. Uh, yes, there is a technique. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Everything coming in the right time. Time. Again, what is your score if you will go to your exam without studying? I will not study. I'm going for exam tomorrow, the same as he did. And what is your score? Did anybody can tell me what your score? If I will go to the exam without studying? Yes, I can tell you. 
I can tell you. If you have four option for each question, four option. You are now the probability for to get the correct answer is what twenty five percent. You are now twenty five percent multiply twenty seven six point seven five, which means you are going to get correct by your own self. You can I'll tick tock A B C D A B C D A B C D tick tick tock tock five minutes three minutes. Your score seven. Probability. It's not your answer. They are telling like that. If you are lucky, ma, then <laughs> if you are lucky, 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 fourteen. Ah, oh, why fourteen? Because your score is what fourteen over twenty-seven. You are now fourteen over twenty-seven. Your score fifty-one percent. You need to score fifty-one percent only. What exam? What exam? Easy. Everything is easy. Um, after the injection, <laughs> don't worry. The injection it will be very nice. <laughs> okay. Now you let us use what I am giving you a from time to time, kid. Let us come back to our slides. Okay. Use your logic and your engineering sense to answer this question. Human are moments. Some humans are engineers. Engineer built houses. If the above statement are facts, which of the following can be logically inferred? All mammals build houses. Engineers are mammals. Some humans are not engineers. It will not come to our exam, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> But I am just to try to do what? I am just to try to help you to enhance what? To put you in a mood of our classes, I am just grab you, kid, from the street. Let us have an exam, <laughs> okay, guys? So later on, after a while, you will find yourself in the mood which I need all of you. <laughs> which one? You are good. You tell me. You tell me. Eh? Yeah, y'all. Which one? Ah, uh, both of you. <laughs> Stan, <laughs> wait, and you? Stan, okay, I will wait. <laughs> two, two engineers are mammals, hundred <laughs> percent. B. Oh, ah, oh, me agreed. Yalla. Engineer or mammals? Yani, yani two, two, yani A, hmm. B. Engineers are mammals. Uh, some engineers are not. Some humans are not engineers. The answer is is B three. Some engineers. Some engineer, some humans are not engineers. This see logic, <laughs> logic. Use what I told you. What use your logic and the engineering sense to answer. It's not come to our exam. It will not come to our exam. It will not come to our exam. But through practice and and exercise makes perfect. You are going to do what after the thirty hours. See yourself. Ah, come here, come here. Right, right. You are now. We already have what have B. No, it's not here. Go for the other system because this one is not working. Tie. Let us go for what. Why is there is U B D E? Why is there in Qatar? I told you before from a while ago that they need to make sure what they need to make sure that we are qualified to work a civil engineer in Qatar. That's it. To why? Because save effort and time. We are doing the design. If we are doing design, have a lot of mistakes. It's a disaster, correct? And who is executing what's the design engineer? If we are executing in a wrong way, is a lot of a disaster. Sir, collect or not? You are now because Qatar have to comply with Qatar visions, which is what Qatar deserves the best. Ashgal. 
Qatar deserves the best. If even if you have a work with Ajgal, they are asking the project manager and the construction manager to be UBA registered, UBA certified. Some of them are asking about grade A. I will not accept any project manager without grade A. Some project in Ajgal. And as well, we have, because we are part in the plan, as I told you, which is what? Qatar Vision 2030. You, and now we are in the plan, as I told you. Where we are, we are the engineers, part of the plant implementation. Correct or not? We are part. We are part. We design, we execute. Correct or not? Tai. Let us go for the second one. What is your competency? Is very simple. I need to score 14 over what? Over 27. Yeah, 51%. If you are going to go to your exam without studying, you will score seven. You need seven. Add to seven. <laughs> See? Ah, it's a game. Correct or not? I bought myself in everyone's shoes. I remember my exam the same. I told myself how you are going to study. I don't know what I'm going to study. I still remember because there is no green in such a case. In these days, I bought, I bought what? I missed it. I bought a message, but after what? After collect a lot of information. I make a plan. I will tell you later about it. What is your competency now? It's what? I am civil engineer. You have to prove it. You need to prove it. Whatever you are working, but you are working what now? You're civil engineer, well, planning, well, QS, well, QA, well, site engineer. Site engineer. Rasla, oh, oh, Rasla fan in Qatar Gas. Ah, now no more jobs. <laughs> no problem. But you are. Inshallah, you will pass. Site engineers. Now. Just doing now. Oh, okay. Site engineer. Construction? Consultant engineer. Ah, see? Consultant engineer. Eh? Uh, uh, See, consultant as well. Oh, la, 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 la. And you. Oh, see? Q, Q, C. Q, A, Q, C. Oh, see? Ah, forget about, forget about Q, Q, C, but you need it in construction management a lot. You need it a lot. But you are civil engineer in the, from the beginning. So now, whatever you are working now, forget about it. We are in this room now, we are civil engineers, structure analysis. Where is the maximum moment location? See, structure analysis. You can see, you don't know about where is that? So, well, you need to study structure analysis. Whatever, if you are planning, you want your work? Uh, technical office, yeah, and procurement, uh, yeah, technical contract. Okay, and you? Oh, but consultant engineer as well, and here. You fresh in Qatar here, inshallah, you will get this MMUB certificate and your work in Qatar. You, you also, <laughs> you will get, inshallah. I see. Barsons? Ah, oh, I have a lot of engineers in Barsons, my friends. Okay, type. And now what we have now, Mr. UBD, it's 27 number quits and your exam, as I told you from a while ago. Matter of what? 14 over, don't forget, this is very important. 14 over 27, my score. Okay, very important. As well, later on, I will tell you what's the message. Time. What is the strategy to be UBDA certified and prove your competency? How? I will tell you. Number one, it's what? This is the question now. You and our Green International will give you something. And by your own, you will do something for yourself. So you are here, what? You are here. I am going to be trainer for you, well, a professor, well, a teacher, well, an instructor, well, a trainer, well, a coach. <laughs> I cannot be. I, all, I cannot. 
on time. Let us see what Green International, what will do. What is the strategy? You have to build a strategy and the mission. The strategy is what Green International will do what for you? Will do what through Yasser? Coaching you. I am going to coach all of you. I cannot be professor because I don't have PhD degree. If even I, I like to teach, but I don't have PhD degree. So you can see me coach, you say, can me trainer, you can see me instructor, but coaching you by your own, I will let you by yourself. It's not yes, because everyone here have a strength in a particular area, strength of knowledge. By yourself, how by yourself to be in the exam mode? This is my role now. Exam mode is very important. If you finish the 30 hours and then second day, thank you very much, <laughs> finish. <laughs> you understand? Exam mode, yes. You are here, I put you in exam mode. I, I have to put you in the exam mode. This is my role. Number two, through emotional intelligence technique, let us love what we are going to do. Let us have something interesting. Let us have some knowledge as well. Especially in what structure analysis, I will give you very nice knowledge in structure analysis and construction management as well. I am going to give you six hour very nice construction management area. Soil mechanics, traffics and road fluid. We will come back to our previous days, but in a in soft way. It's not hard because we cannot, I cannot, no one can give you seven engineering knowledge in 50 hours. No one can. But exam mode, injection, yes, we can. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see, inshallah. Number three, potentially what guide you? Where are your knowledge strengths? As I told you from a while ago, everyone in this classroom have strengths in a particular area. But your own, you will catch it. Number four, study smart while I study hard. Study smart. We don't have time to study hard. No way. We study smart, very smart. And I will give you a very smart way. Without injection. <laughs> this injection is just a, a sweet. <laughs> study what? How to study smart. Okay. Did you work hard, guys? Don't work hard. Work smart. If you work hard, you will kill yourself. Work smart, study smart, do everything smart. Inshallah, you will, you will enjoy the classroom. Time. You are now. This is Yasser. What about you? Your strategy as civil engineer, what? Enhance your civil engineering sense. Knowledge, you are going to get it. Through what? Is, but sense. Why? How you are going to improve this sense? Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Within what? We have our website. You have username and password, sir. You have 900 questions and problems in mockup. Mockup test, test one, test two, test three. 900 or maybe 1,000. If you go through that one and study whatever, through whatever classes I'm going to give you, material I'm going to share with you, what you are expecting? For sure, 100% you are by the exam. 100% you are going, it's not 100, even million percent you are going. But there is another method. There is another method to reduce the effort. To reduce the effort. And it's guarantee, 1000% you are by the exam. So which one I'm going to follow? <laughs> Later. Right. Number two, grab this opportunity and they feel the art of civil engineering and the project management knowledge. Yes, civil engineering sense of what? Structure analysis. Structure, we are far away, guys. If we are civil engineers, we forgot. We forgot how to, to draw bending moment diagram or to develop shop drawings for ground beams. Did you forget or not? Yes, we forgot, sir. But we have it in our exam. Three to five questions and problems coming to our exam in a structure analysis. That means what? You have four, say average four, 
This four should be what? In your pocket. And I will give it to you in your pocket. Okay? Sorry. Number three. Number three is what? Focusing in areas which you never worked in it. Yani, masalan, for example, you already QAQC. You are not working in a planning. You are going to have a scheduling part in construction management. Focus on this area. If you are site engineer, you are not working in, 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 in never ever in construction fee, uh, management field. So you will focus on construction field. But if you are residential engineer, you can inspect, you know, about civil, about the uh, steel, uh, steel enforcement, how to inspect it. So for sure, 100%. So and now structure is very important to you. Very important to you. But fluid, we are far away. We are far away from fluid. Survey, we are far away from <laughs> roads and traffics. No, don't tell me, correct or not. So we are going to have focusing in area which never worked and practice in it in a principle concept. It's not that much of I, I'm going to study Masalan Road and traffic. Yad al Khaiba, I will study two years. No. Don't go on this level. Minimum effort. Minimum, but smart way. Tab number four, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Okay? Right. Practice, yes. We will practice from next class. We'll bring hard copy and we'll solve. There is whiteboard here and we'll solve. We'll solve. Okay? Right. You, and now, it's 27 questions only and you can pass if if you get what 14 over don't forget 14 over 27 and if you go to the exam without studying you can score what seven don't forget put it in your mind because if you have this fact could be without even yes sir you can go to the exam and pass the exam but if you are emotionally trained yourself for such a such experience, because no, all of us, we are not familiar about online exam. And especially if what? Civil engineering in Qatar, they will kill us. The, the exam is nightmare. Ah, the panic. Uh, no, don't slow down. Make it easy. Don't hurry. Everything will be under control. So you can do it. Dunk. Injection. <laughs> okay, inshallah. You are now it's a matter of what? 14 over 27. Now, Mr. UBD, what you have to do now? You already came green. You already went to green. Correct or not? You are in green or not? Let yes, khalas. Keep your leave my, yourself for me. Don't come to here every class, Kenna, and let us enjoy. And after 30 hours, let us see the the outcome. Let us see the outcome, the result. Okay. You are now, you already went to green. You will know that the knowledge is very nice and is gold. Knowledge, always gold. And the knowledge, guys, after the classrooms from here, after MMUB, maybe you will be encouraged to for BMB. You will see. After you finish this certificate, achieve, you will go for BMB. Yes, why? Because it's really fantastic achievement and the traditional you have it. You will see yourself later. Tai. Let us see now our course, our exam, and our course outline. Our exam and our course outline. Any construction project, any construction project, start from when? Start from where? In civil engineering knowledge and education, this is what we are going to have in our exam, correct or not? For any civil construction project stages, what? What? Eh? Planning? Visibility studies? What we call it the pre design. Pre design stage. Pre design stage. We have pre-design stage? Yes, pre-design stage. And pre-design stage means what? Means a project. See, when I said 
Construction management, you have 9 to 11 questions and the problems coming from your exam in these areas. Come to our exam in these areas. Pre-design, money-wise, visibility study. Why we are going to have a project? What is the purpose of the project? But money-wise, economically, engineering, economically-wise. You understand what I mean, guys? I am going to segregate now all the questions and explain to you where our exam coming. But the second stage is what? We are happy for the project. Let us go for design stage. Correct or not? You, uh, construction. Sorry, design stage. Correct or not? Let us have all the planning. Detailed design. Conceptual design. Schematic design. And then detailed design. And then DC1 approved. DC2 approved. And then building permits. Correct? Let us execute. Right. You are now, second stage is what? Pre-construction. Pre-construction means what? Procurement means what? Appointed a contractor to start what? To start what? The project execution, correct or not? But then in the fourth phase stage is what? Construction. Construction phase. But then is what? Post construction. Class activity. Security approval. Let us hand over to end users and what there is some inspection to be done by assurities, correct or not? In the end, they are post construction phase. Our exam coming here in construction phase, post construction phase, pre construction phase, and pre design, we have 9 to 11. 9 to 11. In what, in what phase is? One, two, three, four. In design phase, we have the rest. If nine means what? 18. 18 could be 18 and could be what? 16. You, from 16 to 18 is what? In these areas. Which areas by now? Let us see. Here, project business needs case general discussion. We are going to discuss about, and we know, we'll discuss about all this knowledge. We'll in here what? Material, concrete, steel, wood. We'll in structure analysis. We'll in soil mechanics, traffic, engineering, and roads, fluid, and hydraulics. We'll in survey. This area. He will not ask you to design foundation. It will give you the reaction load, tell you design for me, for no. He will ask you a very... Very simple questions in what structure analysis, in fluid, in survey, in road, in traffic. Very simple. Okay? But in construction is procurement. Bidding, awarding contract process. They are asking you some questions in this area. Here, project management. We have a scope management. We have a six schedule management. We have cost management. We have quality management. We have other areas. And we have contract and the claim management is coming here as well. Post construction means what? A surety inspection. We have a surety approvals. We have general discussion about a surety approvals and services connection. We are working in Qatar here, or even any country you are going to work on it, or even any construction project phases, it will be the same. If even you are going to build your home, Pre-design, bad in design, bad in sahwala, bad in pre-construction, bad in construction, or post construction. Agreed or not? Any project, anywhere. Okay? Right. This is our course outline, and this is our exam outline, which I'm going to share tomorrow. The, I'm going to share tomorrow what? I'm going to share the course outline and as well PDF for this file. And as well, what? And the exercise, which I'm going to tell you, please, hard copy for it. Okay. Now, I'm going to share it now in WhatsApp. Now. Okay. But the course outline, tomorrow I will share it with you. Right. Let us go for what? Let us go by practice makes perfect. Let us see our type of exams, questions, and the problems. What type? Let us see how you are going to score, correct or wrong. By your own. Let us see your score, correct? Huh? Let us try. 
let us try let us see the type of questions we are going to have don't forget two minute what 16 second four option two option near to each other and you to correct answer and the two option is not related to subject it's easy for you now very easy very easy time let us see number one By your own kidna, let us see your score. If even zero, don't worry. Zero is a very nice number. <laughs> don't worry. If you score zero even, no worries. Don't worry. Okay? Let us see. Construction works should begin in Qatar here. Three options only. Which one? Very simple. Two minutes, 15 seconds. You are on answer in 10 seconds. <laughs> I, will not, I will not talk. Write it down. Write it down the answer. Write it down the answer. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. La, la, give me the other tool. <laughs> yeah, choose. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yal. Okay. Yeah, see, uh, uh, common, common, this is very common sense. This engineering sense. This is nothing to, nothing related, but here in Qatar, because we are working in Qatar, we need something to start our project. We have to do something. Is there a fourth option? Or only three? No, three options. See, uh, I make your life more easy. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Ah, I see already. Uh, uh, of course. B. See, easy for you or not? How many minutes? Half minute, half minute, half minute. As I told you guys, it's coming to our, whatever we have here in the classroom, whatever I'm going to give it to you is from previous exams and could be coming to you. You understand what I mean? Whatever we are going to discuss is from previous exams and they are coming the same. Same everything, yeah. Huh? Okay, guys. Two thousand two uh, yesterday exam. <laughs> yeah, today exam. <laughs> today exam could be this one from today exam. Uh, but then I will tell you, you already. <laughs> I will. You already. You already attend with me. <laughs> Believe me, guys, huh? Could be. Today exam, number two. Number one. Number two. The answer is what? The answer is B. Type number two. But let us go. I forgot to tell you something. But let us see, read. What is the type of bond guarantees that if contractor goes broke on a project, the surety will pay the necessary amount to complete the job? I forgot to tell you as well. There is magic words. There is key words in what? In your A questions, huh? There is key words. You can use it. So it's give you a hint. Okay, guys? It will give you a hint. Huh? You understand what I mean? Right. Let us see now. Let us see the four options. Let us see the four options. Bid bond. Number one. Number one. Number one, bid bond. Even the spelling is wrong because it should be B-I-D. Bid. Bidding. Okay. But here bid could be a chair bid, a chair bond, or sofa bond, or, or, ta or, or table bond, or James bond. <laughs> Correct or not? You have 100%. 100%. The answer is what? The answer A is wrong. Number one, we are not in bidding stage. Are we are in bidding stage? We are saying in execution stage. We are already in execution stage. We are submit our bid bond win in our tendering stage. Once we have the project, we will not submit what performance bond. Correct or not? Type. Type. Accept acceptance bond. Acceptance bond is the, the service. Some say some services. 
It's not accepted. LA, we see not related to what? To the subject. صح ولا لأ؟ وبعدين we have what? يبقى الـ A we see is wrong. By your own kidna, you feel it now. Correct or not? As I told you, no way, sofa bond, yeah, no way. But <laughs> now, الـ A we see is wrong. طيب. What about ghost broke? What the meaning ghost broke? Bankrupt. What the meaning bankrupt? He cannot pay his liability. Means what? Resource, material, supplier, supplier. Yes, he don't have. He don't have to what? To pay what? To pay to his what? To his supplier, to his staff salary. To war wages for the worker, correct or not? This is what we mean. We mean ghost broke. You know now this ghost broke is what keywords. صح ولا لا؟ You know now what you understand now. What you understand now ghost broke that he don't have money to pay to pay his liability. But what about could be he is ahead? Could be. Could be ahead. He, his performance could be what ahead. Anything is telling you about delaying the project. He is delayed the project. He not start the project in the termination stage of the terminated because the termination even there is a process for termination. You cannot terminate any, terminate any contractor kid like a hey, yalla. And we have what the performance bond to what we for even from the from the name performance bond if he will not perform. I'm going to liquidate it, eh? Liquidate it, his performance bond. I'm going to take it 